What's up, Simonics? Welcome to a new vlog episode with a lot of announcements. Today, I want to share the highlights of the Ionic Conf that happened uh, about last month. Especially, we want to dive into the announcements Max made in the keynote. And I also got something I waited to uh, unbox for this episode. Actually, this package has been in quarantine for about uh, 14 days now because, well, because it's from the United States and I just want to make sure everything's safe. So we want to unbox this, we want to talk about announcements and I also got a special announcement for you today as well. You might have heard that I've been working on an Ionic book for quite some time. It is called Practical Ionic and today I'm happy to share with you a preview chapter of this book. You can find the link in the description right below this video. You can get the chapter for free and hopefully next week the whole book will be released. So grab your free chapter, check out if you enjoy it and next week I will talk more about the whole book project and everything that went into this project. But today we're gonna start with this. Okay, let's do this. Oh, there's a lot of greatness in this package. I can already see and feel it. Okay, let's say whatever is in this package, I'm gonna wear in this video. Number one, a pencil. Nice, finally a new Ionic pencil. I got a gift card, let's check it out in a minute. A pack of socks, so we had this bed. I'm gonna wear them. Epic, really epic. This is definitely going to be my new favorite pair of socks for every video. You're not going to see this anyway, but I will know and I will wear them. Next item, the official Ionic Conference t-shirt. I finally got it. I'm super excited, super excited, and it fits perfectly. Thank you for this. Next item, well, well, it's not my color, but I will wear it anyway. Here we go, Ionic fanboys. A nice little extra. I got a webcam cover. Uh, can you please focus? Nice webcam cover. I actually never had something like this. It is actually from Ionic, so uh, I didn't know something like this exists. I will put this on my MacBook. And finally, of course, as a real developer using Ionic, this, this, this is something you need to have. I love it. I'm now in completely Ionic fanboy uh, outfit. Finally a card. Let's see if they've written me anything nice. Hello. A few stickers. Actually cool. Thank you. And a handwritten card from the Ionic team. Not sure. I guess that's not Mike's handwriting. All right. That covers our unboxing. And now we can move into the announcements from the Ionic Conf. All right, now let's get into the real uh, announcements from the Ionic conference. You can still find it uh, right now. There's only the keynote and a few talks um, at the time recording this, but they will also upload all the other talks. If you're interested in a like quick summary of the highlights of these talks, please let me know in the comments and I will uh, review or not review, but uh, summarize them in another video. Um, there were definitely some really cool talks about testing, animations, performance, um, uh, virtual reality, really a lot of greatness. But let's back, go back to Max Keynote. So Max actually started with a little bit of history that you can see this is like the super old version one Ionic logo. Uh, I think the new one is actually a lot better. He explains that in the beginning the focus was only on Angular uh, and at some point they moved to a little bit different approach to opening Ionic to other frameworks. Um, they created a lot of services um, around them like AppFlow, the Identity Vault, um, Capacitor and now opening to React as well. And since Ionic 4, uh, the most important release, they moved to web components. That was like the biggest shift in their history. So just like um, Apple always starts with the great numbers from the downloads, uh, Ionic kind of starts the same. And while watching this, I actually felt a bit like in an Apple conference. Now, Stencil is used in a lot of projects. Um, Ionic is a force. I really like those uh, short headlines. And then the numbers are actually really overwhelming. Um, they shared all the companies using Ionic, um, cool uh, papers, and then they also announced, so the first announcement of the day, Ionic View. We've seen, uh, of course, Ionic Angular and we've seen Ionic React, but now they are also building out Ionic View. 
in the past I always said I'm not really interested in getting into React, but I'm kind of interested in getting into Vue. I really don't know if I will start with it, but um, at some point I will definitely try to get into this because I've read a lot of good things about Vue and I really want to give it a try and in combination with Ionic, I think this could be really something great. I don't want to leave Angular, but I never really liked React, so uh, no, going into Vue seems like something I might actually do. That is announcement number one. Announcement number two is around uh, AppFlow. So uh, AppFlow is the service Ionic uses uh, for, as you can see, live updates, native builds, automations, um, where you can plug in your Ionic application and everything works really great. Especially the deployment to the App Store through uh, AppFlow is something they're proud of. And within the, uh, the Ionic Conf, Max announced that this deploy to App Store is now included in every package. So it's not included in the free version of AppFlow, but you can now get this uh, in the basic version. I think it's $29 per month uh, for the basic plan. Um, so available on all plans. It's really a great feature. Um, if you want to see like a little review of the app flow because you've never seen it really in action, let me know below the video. Uh, I would really love to show you some of the features. I'm not affiliated, I don't get any money, but I think they've built something really great here. Actually, uh, besides this, I kind of miss a little statistic Max shared and I definitely want to show you this one. Um, so this is the market share of applications uh, of iOS and Google Play Store applications built with Ionic. I think this is a huge number. So 10% of the iOS applications and almost 20% of the Google uh, Play Store applications are built with Ionic. I really love this sheet. Uh, if you do any presentations, definitely include this. This basically uh, tells you everything you need to know about um, Ionic. But back to the topic of announcements. So how can we do more? Uh, which basically started uh, the rest of the talk uh, about Capacitor. First of all, uh, with Capacitor, uh, I think we've talked about Capacitor a lot in the past, um, they are now going to open Capacitor for a lot of frameworks. It's been kind of like this all the time, so you can plug in Capacitor into whatever you see in the screen, Framework 7, uh, Tailwind, React, Ember, Swelter, whatever it might be, but they never really embraced that. So from today on, or from the conference on, they want to move uh, forward into opening Capacitor to everyone. That is announcement number three. And what this means, of course, the numbers of Capacitor users will grow, which is always good for a framework or community in general. They also got a nice little website, new documentation for Capacitor. Uh, that is great as well. And with this, they are also uh, launching something called Capacitor Community. The Capacitor Community is like a little platform uh, to share your Capacitor plugins. They've been listed in the Capacitor documentation all the time, but now they have a dedicated space. They have recommendations for building a plugin. I actually created a tutorial already on this. Uh, you should see it maybe in a few weeks. Uh, I've scheduled it. so. The process of creating your own plugin is really easy and now everyone can share their native plugins and all the greatness you created in this Capacitor community organization on GitHub. This is really a great announcement. They already got a few things covered. Um, they've built basically the HTTP native plugin was built by Max, I think. So he's really heavily still involved into all the coding of those things. So that's number four. And now the final release number five is capacitor elements. I actually hope uh, we would see something like a capacitor uh, native layer in which we can easily access the uh, native SDK a bit easily, like with native script. Um, but this is something different. This is also closely related to our first or second, whatever it was, uh, announcement that Capacitor is opening up for everyone. If you use now Capacitor with a random framework, you of course don't have the great uh, native elements like you used to from Ionic. So with Capacitor elements, they actually want to bring these like modals, pop-ups, you see these uh, little things here in the background. They want to bring these elements to every app. So basically, including them in Capacitor as like a Capacitor elements uh, package. 
there's already the progressive web app elements package so i guess this will be just another package you can include so then you can use capacitor to build a cross-platform application with basically every framework and you can get a nice native look of your applications using capacitor elements and not using ionic I feel like it's not really a big announcement for Ionic itself, but it's opening up Capacitor for a lot of other frameworks and developers. And I always think um, this will be great for the whole Ionic and Capacitor ecosystem. All right, that's it so far for the announcement of the Ionic conference. I got a lot of nice new swag. I actually noticed this is not only a pencil for an iPad, but also a real pencil. So uh, amazing, just amazing pencil. Just amazing. And I hope you enjoyed this quick review of the announcements. Once again, my preview chapter is free. Go grab it, link below the video. Next week, you're gonna see hopefully the release of our practical Ionic book. And also I would love to know, you would like to see a little summary of all the other talks. I think there were about 10 or 12 other talks. So if you're interested in them and haven't watched them yet, or perhaps you've seen some favorites and think I should share the, the knowledge from these, let me know in the comments and I will give another look at these great videos. Have a great week with a lot of Ionic power. Uh, even if you don't have a Mac, I really don't know where you can get all of this swag. Um, I will ask them, perhaps I will also create my own Ionic shop with some merchandise at some point. But anyway, have a great week, build some great apps and I will catch you next week for our book release. So have a great week and happy coding. Simon.